Hi, my name is Eric Hunt. I am the creative producer here at Green Guts, and we're here at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, Diagon Alley. Let's start by talking about how technology has opened up your creativity when it comes to building an attraction like this. Sure, the great thing now about technology with having 4K ultra high definition availability with our projection systems, we are able now to create more of a seamless environment by taking physical sets and just transitioning those physical sets to digital cinema with these huge, huge screens that we build nowadays. Can you talk a little about the, the ride carts themselves and how those have advanced, the 360 degrees ability? Sure, the great thing about the ride systems and the vehicles that we have nowadays that are disposable are just that, 360 degrees uh, of freedom. And with that sort of freedom, we are able to transfer our guests into a full, even more full environment by having more digital screens about us. So wherever we turn, there's either a screen or a physical environment that we can interact with. Can you talk a little bit about the actual story and how it ties into the film franchise? Sure. The nice thing about our story that we're telling our guests is, is that certainly as you can see here in the Green Guts Bank, it really picks up from the last film of where we're here. And um, you have Ron, Harry, and Hermione. They are um, here to take you know, possession of the Horcrux. We, in fact, are here to open up a new account. And somehow, in some way, in great, in great story fashion, we become part of their, their action and their energy as in the feature of the last film. And what people are hearing in the background is the latest in technology as well. Can you talk about the audio animatronic figures that are throughout this room? Sure. We're really, really proud to display our goblins here today. And um, this is unlike anything else that's out there, in my opinion. And certainly, it's a major achievement for us here at Universal because it's not something that you've seen in many parts of our parks throughout the world. And this is the only place where we have the animation at this capacity where it's really close up and it's personal. And you can see all the detailing. And what's great about the details with our goblins here, they've been the details and the accuracy is coming right off from the digital models and the digital scans from the feature film. Films. So they're so authentic in, in, in their viewers today. And speaking of the feature films, how do you use the films to recreate an environment like we're standing in right now? Well, that's a good segue. And well, how we use those films is by having a great visionary, and the visionary being Stuart Craig, the Academy Award winning production designer from the films. He was so talented to where he takes his vision from the feature films. That segues into these drawings that we use to create this environment. Similar yet different because different because we have to be able to accommodate guests on a daily basis. So you're talking two or three thousand people per hour that comes through this venue. Certainly different in building a set that's only temporary for a shoot. Talk a little about the interactive elements and how you guys try to keep people entertained while they are standing in line. Well that's another great thing. We have some great technologies where we have animated portraits like you see in the feature films, animated daily profits. We have great story points and things that have never been seen in the feature films. For example, goblin armor. And unlike the films here in the banking hall, you not only just enjoy the hall, there are offices and corridors where the goblins live and work and do their thing. And you also get a little tidbit of some of the actual vault corridor on the upper level, even before going down below. Can you talk about, once you go down below, a little bit about the uh, actors and bringing this new story, this new angle to the story to life and how you guys film that? I can tell you that the great thing that we've done uh, is put together some nice digital, ultra high, you know, high definition um, uh, media with our beloved characters as we see in the film. Being, uh, being able to put them together with our physical set works and such, and, and the story is uh, seamless, if you will, and uh, we're really excited to be able to present that to our guests. When it comes to these attractions, you guys have actually gone back and worked with the original actors in some cases, like in this, in this sequence. What's it like seeing them back in these roles again? Well, for us, obviously, it's always great to see our characters come back and, 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 and recreate those roles that they had from the films. But even more so, they're even excited to work with each other because since the end of the feature films, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a reunion for them. So they, they're certainly excited to be a part of that as well. Last thing I want to ask you is we've seen a lot of Harry Potter uh, licensed products out there. One of them has been the video games that EA put out for years and years. Did you guys ever look at the, the, the video games from the Harry Potter franchise in, in building something like this? 
Well, I've, I've looked at them and see how accurate they were in the references that were provided to them and how the references were provided to us. And certainly there is a difference because, you know, we have to be more true to the films because guests are here on a daily basis looking at everything in, in, in its living state, whereas things in 3D, you know, are so digital and so interpreted. So we try not to refer to that too much.